Hello, today it is unboxing day. I have been accumulating all these manga parcels for about a month now, I think, and it is time to open these, I have decided. I keep putting off doing my unboxing video because I'm like, oh, just another couple of days, I've got another parcel coming, but I always have another parcel coming. And I'm not going to be able to film a video for another like week or so, so I was like, right, tonight is the night. I'm gonna open all these and be delighted. I'm gonna hopefully film a couple videos this evening. I'm gonna film this one and my April haul and another one if I have time. I might not have time, I might film that next week. But hopefully both of those will be filmed and this one will probably go up first. If you haven't already, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe so you'll be alerted when I post that April manga haul because I'm sure you're dead excited to see it. I sure am excited to film it. <laughs> So today's video is an unboxing. We have a lot of secondhand today and mostly from World of Books as you can probably tell. Sometimes they send them in a box, sometimes they send them in this delightful plastic packaging. We've got the plastic packaging today. There's also quite a few Black Worlds volumes, pre-orders. As always, if I can remember, I will tell you how much I spend on the volumes. Sometimes I don't remember and sometimes they don't include a packing slip so I'm like, no idea. I was going to tidy up this stack but I kind of like having a nice big stack of manga so I think I'm just going to shift it to the side and put the manga here. When I open it, we'll start with... I don't know. Spoiled of a choice. I'll start with this dinky one here. So this is the World of Books. Let's see what's in it. I don't have my scissors today, just my brute force and ignorance. So first we have, oh, so I have bought some presents for my partner. If you don't know, he likes to read light novels and is as big a fan of Isekai as I, uh, as I am. Uh, so I've bought him some light novels as present. These are all secondhand. So we have Kuma 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 Bear Volume 7. This is like in pretty good condition. I would say that's nice and thick. I've been reading the manga and I've quite enjoyed it. So when I saw there was some discounted light novels, I was like, I'll grab those for him. He might enjoy it too. <laughs> Let's see what's in here next. Is it another light novel? Nope, it is How Heavy Are the Dumbbells You Lift, Volume 7. Now, I think I picked this up for like £4.50. It was really cheap, if I recall correctly. Most of my volumes of this series have been bought cheaply, either from Blackwells for like £4.99, or now secondhand for £4.50. Uh, it's, it's very educational. <laughs> well. I'm hoping all the stuff in it is educational. I'd be really bummed out if it's not. I've learned a lot about like exercises and targeting muscles and stuff like that. I've only read the first two volumes so far. I am actually, I do have a clear run to seven. I've just not, they're quite heavy because there's a lot of like information in them. Also quite etchy. A lot of, yeah, be wary of that. What's next? Next we have Yuna and the Hot Hot Springs volume 11. I've been trying to get up to date with this series for like years now, but they didn't stock too many volumes in my um, like manga stores, so I kind of just sort of fell off the wagon. I had volume one for like four years on its own, I was like, I need to pick up some more, and I do have some more now, um, but like they're all over the place because I keep buying them cheap, like this poor volume 11. <laughs> Still more volumes in here, goodness, what's next? Oh, it's a bit it's a bit warped. We have Hatsuharu volume 6. You can see it's like bent. I thought it felt so weird. I thought it was a library copy to begin with. No, Hatsuharu volume 6. Uh, I'd quite enjoyed volume 1 of this. I like it felt a bit different because it was mo it's mostly told from the dude's perspective in this like high school romance. I've sort I've had fully I've read volume 1 to 3 now. And I have still enjoyed it, but not as much like the initial volume one. I like that there's lots of different pairings, so you see lots of different romances. It's not just focused on one pair. One last volume in here, and it is another light novel. It is I Shall Survive Using Potions, volume three. I think I bought in volume one. So he has volumes one and three. This is an isekai. Yes. <laughs> Let's do this very concerning wobbly parcel on top. Oh, 
Oh, there's a whole bunch in here and they're all like falling over. Let's stand them up straight and pull them out. We've got more light novels. I bet we do. Yes, we do. We have Is It Wrong to Pick Up Girls in the Dungeon Volume 3? I have been buying this series, light novel series, for my partner for about a year now. And uh, I think Volume 3 was like one of the few volumes he's missing to be up to date. I think he now has like 1 to 11, if I've remembered my spreadsheet correctly. <laughs> Next we have another light novel. How many light novels did I buy him? We have Goblin Slayer Volume 8. I'm not sure he's actually started reading Goblin Slayer yet, but I know he's seen the anime. He's, he's definitely taken in some form of Goblin Slayer content. Next we have Otaku Elf Volume 2. Uh, I have Volume 1, I haven't read it yet, but this was I think about £4 secondhand. And I was like, yeah. Next we've got another light novel, Sword Art Online, volume 19. Yeah, this is another one I buy him piecemeal. I think, I think the only Sword Art Online he's now missing is like volume 6 and then he'll be almost up to date. He'll have a clear run without any gaps at least. Last volume in here is World Trigger, volume 20. I have like most of my world trigger volumes have been bought second hand i don't think can you buy this in manga stores i've not seen it in any of my manga stores though i do see volumes on traveling man's website just not in traveling man's stores i think i am only missing one more volume before i have a solid run but i am missing one two and three with one more volume i'll have four to twenty i look forward to being able to read this i do like shonen jump series another parcel gone we're making great progress. We'll be done in no time. We'll do another world of books. This one does not want to open. If only I had scissors. No, it's for the week. Oh, this is opening weirdly. Oh, I see what's in here. Come on. Okay, first volume on top is How Heavy the Dumbbells You Like, volume 8. Again, I think I paid about £4.50, £5 for this. It makes me really happy to spend less money on this series considering how thin it is. And in my Forbidden Planet they sell it for £11.99, so it's about £7.99 as part of a 3 for 2. So yeah, this makes me happy being able to buy it for half of the discount price. Funky. You probably won't be able to see. No, not at all. It's like dented a little, but not much. Next we have another Kuma 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 Bear. Uh, light novel, novel, light novel, the third light novel, volume, are light novels still volumes? Have I called them volumes? I'm not sure. Uh, I wonder if this is, oh this is getting, this is around where the manga is, or my manga is, I'm a couple of volumes behind of the manga. Ooh, that's interesting, so I'll need to get him like, I don't have a, I haven't gotten him any other Kuma 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 Bear light novels, he just has three and seven. <laughs> Last volume in this parcel is Yuna in the Haunted Hot Springs volume 13 and I don't understand why but this is heavy. This feels really dense. That's so strange. It feels so crisp. It reminds me of like a J novel. Goodness me. Oh goodness me. I forgot that this is a ghost ship series. Fortunately the spine is a little damaged. There you can see it's like that's not too bad. I could potentially glue that down or just rip it off. <laughs> it's white. I'm not. You wouldn't be able to tell if I take it off. Perhaps we'll do another world of books. I feel like I put all the world of books on top, and there's like Blackwell stuff underneath. So maybe after this, I'll rejig so we can get some of the Blackwell stuff. My God, what is this plastic made of? You can see it's the Seven Seas. But I can't see what volume it is. Oh, Ideal Sponge of Life, Volume Five. This is an isekai, um, but it's not like a typical isekai. It's, well, in some ways, it's more like pol it's more political. There's not really as much battles and fights. It tends to be more like political battles than like punchy punchy battles. This guy's been like summoned to become the husband to this queen, and he seems to take it very much in his stride. And she's like, you can just lounge around your life as long as you just be my husband and like provide me children or something i can't quite remember and he's like yeah, all right that's cool it's a flying series i enjoy it because it's an east kai but like i'm not rushing to pick it up so again picking it up second hand is nice there is a second volume in here and it is ideal sponge life volume four i don't 
I don't remember picking these up. How long has it been? Again, yeah. Actually, how's the... Oh, that's got a Forbidden Planet 3 for 2 sticker in it. I put on it. I forget that Forbidden Planet... OG of Forbidden Planet do 3 for 2 on 7 Cs as well, or at least the one in London does. Okay, so this is a Black Coils, so we're gonna do this one next, and then we'll probably do this one, which is also Black Coils. I completely just didn't tear the strip. We have got... is it a new release? It is Vampire Dormitory Volume 4. Okay, so... Right, okay, just bear with me. Bear with me. I know I've hated on some certain vampire romances, and I don't know why this one, I just... it's trash, but I like it. It's like my kind of... it's my kind of like vampire romance trope trash sort of thing. So I... this is a series that is nowhere... it's not good, but I love it. It's kind of like Uran meets vampire lusty romance where the lady pretends to be a dude and no one really knows yet. Alright, let's see what's in this. Hench! Hench! Blackwell's parcel. Where's the tear? <laughs> that was loud. Oh, we've got a few things in here. Oh, I think they're all discounted volumes. I shouldn't have peeked. We have on top Black Butler Roman numerals 17. Is it? Yeah, 17. My Black Butler is all over the place and it's predominantly been second hand. I think I picked this up for like $5.99, which is cheaper than three for two. Black Butler is such a long series at this point that I don't see myself rushing in to pick it up all at once. It'll be here and there when I find cheap volumes. I don't think it releases particularly quickly anyway, so I do have time to catch up. Okay, next we have got Devil's Line Volume 2. I have been wanting to start this series for a while. I think it was on my want to try list. But I, and I don't have volume one, this is the first volume I picked up because it was 4 99 on Blackwells. <laughs> really don't know too much more about it. I see a lot of people have talked about it and enjoyed it on Instagram and on YouTube. So I don't think it's a particularly long series either. So I can't wait to get into it. Right, next we have got Beauty and the Beast of Paradise Lost. So I have been wanting to pick, I have been wanting to pick this one up for a while. Um, but volume, I've not seen volume one pop up in my Forbidden Planet and now of course a whole bunch of other volumes have come out since. I don't know if, is this the last volume? No, five, I think it might only be five volumes, I couldn't remember if it was four or five. I do like fantasy, so again this was also discounted to like 5 99 so I was like definitely want to pick it up and give it a go even though I don't have the rest of the volumes yet. I think there's one last volume in here, which we have Welcome to the Ballroom Volume 3. I've only got Volume 1 at the moment. I found it quite interesting. It's a sport, I suppose, manga, but the sports. Ballroom dancing. Is ballroom dancing a sport? I don't know. <laughs> I actually found Volume 1 quite interesting. I learned a bunch about dances. I don't tend to watch anything that any sort of dancing shows. Like we have some in the UK, like Strictly Come Dancing, and I don't watch that. And but I'll happily learn about it through manga form. <laughs> Let's do some more Blackwell's singles. What have we got in here? We have got Those Not So Sweet Boys, Volume 6. I've got a lot of romance, haven't I? This has been quite fun to read. Uh, I did go and read Love in Focus by the same author and I didn't enjoy it as much as I've been enjoying Those Not So Sweet Boys. I've been buying up That Wolf Boy Is Mine as well, and I'm a little worried about that one now considering I didn't enjoy Lost in Focus. But I do enjoy this one, so maybe there's like a 50-50 chance I'll enjoy it. Volume 5 ended on quite a big cliffhanger, so I'm looking forward to reading this one to see what happens. I'm gonna take this one right at the front. It's another Black Quills. Quite a lot of Black Quills, like, singles. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay, so in here we have, if it wants to come out. Oh, we have Lovesick Ellie Volume 3. There is just lots of romance, isn't there? Where's, where's it all come from? I've enjoyed what I've read so far of Lovesick Ellie. It's just only two volumes, but I like 
how much of a degenerate she is and how open she is about it and it was a bit weird at first because like she'd never really spoken to the dude but the dude seems to be like all right with it kind of and now I'm fine with it as well. <laughs> it's not a particularly long series either though. Most romances don't tend to be. They tend to be like 10, 11 volumes, which is I think what this is. I am looking forward to reading this one. It's going to be tough to choose what to read first at this rate. I don't think this is a Black Pearls one. The past, the packaging is different. What's in here? We have, ooh, we have, oh gosh, don't... we have, <laughs> Dreaming Sun Volume 9. This was the only volume of Dreaming Sun I was missing. I know you can just about see them above here. See, I have all the volumes but Volume 9 and I've been, I have, I'd read up to Volume 7 and then I couldn't find 8 and 9 anywhere. I found Volume 10 so I bought, and then I found Volume 8 like last month or the month before and then I found Volume 9 about a month ago but it took like, did it take it took about a month to get here because it came from the US. But I didn't pay I paid about three for two price still. I have some pretty strong opinions about the series, but I didn't want to like get too vocal or dismiss the series completely without finishing it at least, because I don't know things might change. I I don't know, I'm not finished it. So I have been like wanting to hold off on making forming like a proper opinion until I finish reading it. Now that I have eight, nine, and ten, I'm definitely going to be doing that. And I want to make a video about it as well. Let's do this crazy big one. I have a slight inkling where this one's what this one might be. Inkling correct. Inkling correct. It is That Wolf Boy Is Mine, Volume 2. See, I said I was trying to pick up the volumes and here's one of them. Hopefully there's going to be another one in here. <laughs> I'm hoping that I enjoy this as much as Those Not So Sweet Boys, or at least more so than Lost in Focus. I don't know what it was about Lost in Focus. I just, I don't think I really like too many of the characters and that just doesn't help reading a series. Let's do another Black Pearls one. Is it a pre-order? It feels plastic wrapped. Why is it plastic wrapped? <gasps> it's an Easter egg. Survival in another world with my mistress. Volume one. <laughs> this kind of looks like Minecraft isekai, but smutty. We've already had a Minecraft isekai and it was shit. Please, can this one be better? Well, at least it's plastic wrapped, so there should be something good about it. If we clear this side, and then we can have just a little pile in the middle. So, another single black pearls. And we have Skip and Loafer Volume 2. Finding this has been so hard. This is such a lovely series. It gave me serious Comey vibes, um, but like her, com her like communication difficulties are a different sort to Comey. It's more like a level of obliviousness and I still like that. Everyone's pretty wholesome and it's yeah it's ugh. I have volume three. Volume four is out now as well but it wasn't in store when I was last there. Hoping it will be next time I go. I'm so excited. I have so much to read. Okay so we'll do this one first. I have no idea what's in this one. Oh my goodness, I failed. I failed you for the last time. Okay, I see one. It's cheating though, right? So, first we have 07 Ghost Volume 6. I have one and nine. There's quite a few volumes of this in my Forbidden Planet, but I've not been particularly rushing to pick it up because I can't really start reading it yet. I can read volume one, but I want to wait till I don't have huge gaps. Really don't know much about the series yet. I have been buying them pretty cheap off Blackwells. This was about £4.50, I think, which does now work out cheaper than three for two, fortunately, because of have raised their prices. Oh, I got a spoiler, but it was a beautiful spoiler. We have My Next Life as a Villainess Side Story on the Verge of Doom, volume two. A bit of a mouthful, I understand. So the main series is called My Next Life as a Villainess, All Roots Lead to Doom, where she like regains her memories of her previous life while she's a child and in the side story this one she regains her life her memories when she's already like at 
school and were like closing in on like bad things that could happen to her as a villainess if she doesn't get her acting gear. So she's like on the verge, she's so close to things going so horrendously wrong and oh, I really enjoy it. I love the series. It was the series that got me into like learning that there were other types of isekai besides like fighting isekai. It's like oh and the villainess genre which might be like villainess sub villainess isekai as a subgenre might be just like ooh, one of my like favorite subgenres there is it's like ooh, very excited for this it was actually a bit cheaper than three for two as well so i think it was like seven pounds 30 which is 60p cheaper than if you bought it as part of three for two i know it's not a huge amount but it does add up <laughs> okay so what else do we got in here we have oh love of kill volume five uh, I can't start reading this yet because I still don't have volume 1. I've not seen a volume 1 in store or cheap enough online for me to pick it up. I see a lot of people really love the series though. A lot, a lot of people really love the series. So I'm excited to get into it when I can. Next and final in this parcel we have If I Could Reach You Volume 1. I actually know nothing about this series really except I thought the cover looked pretty and it was discounted to 5 99 and I was like I'm going to be naughty and pick up a random series that looks neat. How long until this isn't structurally sound anymore? Probably not that long. Okay so we actually have a couple of Amazon parcels at the bottom which are kind of load bearing but I'm going to pull them out anyway and we're going to open those next. There was a slight interlude as I had gotten to remove my address for some of the parcels and I don't need you sending me some weird manga stuff. Or do I? Okay, so we have an Amazon parcel here and I'm trying to remember what I got. Let's see. So first volume we have, oh yes, we have Midnight Secretary Volume 5. So this is now a series complete. I have been picking this series up for about two-ish years now and I start to struggle to find um, some of the lighter volumes but I have been able to find them second hand and Amazon actually had this just discounted to like cheaper than 3 for 2 price it was like £5.20 um, and it is marked as a 6 99 series so technically it should be £4.60 as my 3 for 2 price but Viz have up their prices so I'm mostly happy to buy less than £5.50 I think is a 3 for 2 price I'll have to do the math again okay and the second volume in here is where are my post-it notes? Okay, okay, so I'm only going to show you the front because I've not done the back. We have, oh my goodness, Titty Parade. Um, unsurprisingly, not a particularly safe for work cover and a very not safe for work back cover. I have nothing to say to this. This is degenerate manga. I don't recommend Faku to anyone unless you're like, I know you really well and I know you're as much of a degenerate as I am. So let's do the other Amazon one. Hopefully a bit more wholesome. Yes, it is Magic Artisan Dahlia Wilts No More. Isekai, woman protagonist. Yes. I've heard things about Magic Artisan Dahlia before, I think. I've heard, I think I've heard things about the light novel. I had the, I've had this on pre-order at Amazon for like, a year now I think. I don't tend to do too many pre-orders through Amazon anymore. They tend, to, I tend to do them through Backwells just because they're often cheap. <laughs> we still have a surprising amount left considering the stack. I'm, I'm tempted to see how tall I can make the stack. Let's start with this grey one. We have a few grey ones. Often if I buy from like random third party places on Amazon they tend to ship in this sort of deal. <laughs> Oh yes, it is volume 7 of Case Closed and this feels so clean and new. The corners are so crisp, it's just slightly yellowed. Do you know why this breaks my heart? I am now up to date with Case Closed apart from volumes 2 and 3. I have up to 81 but not volumes 2 or 3 <laughs> and I'm sure you're like you fool! Why would you buy so much manga when you haven't even like read it? If anyone out there has volumes 2 and 3 of this and would like to part with them for a sensible price because Amazon has them listed for about £50 and I, I don't pay more than retail please let me know. <laughs> 
I'm in the Discord, please. One day I will read it, but it is not today. Let's do another grey one. Maybe these are all gonna make me sad. Maybe that's why they're grey. Oh, there's two volumes in here. Oh my god. <laughs> Breasts are my favourite thing in the world, volume four. This is almost a fairly wholesome GL series. Uh, this girl just likes to fondle boobs and she, she fondles her boobs. It's the series, that's it. I don't I actually understand how it's gotten to four volumes. What happens? I've read one to three and I'm still like, what happens? <laughs> okay, so there is another volume in here and it is, oh yes, it is Perfect World volume 10. I think I picked this up for six pounds, seven pounds? It was cheaper than three for two, I remember that. And this actually, I ordered this a while ago. It's a bit dented on the corner. This is a fairly new release because uh, I remember I'd been looking for the volume and Black Horse was too expensive and I was like, oh, well. And I looked on Amazon and there was a third party selling it. I was like, didn't it only come out like a week or two ago when I was originally looking? So very excited with this one. It is a bit battered, spine's a bit battered. That's a bit dented. Right, last mysterious grey parcel, I think. Oh, great. Last mysterious grey parcel, I think. <laughs> we have got some Dome Milky Way Volume 2. And so I picked up Volume 3 in my shopping haul because I already knew I had this waiting for me. This is a ghost ship series. It should be plastic wrap book because I bought it secondhand. It isn't. I would be loath to recommend this to, again, anyone unless I knew it might be their sort of thing. I've kind of enjoyed it because it's really trashy. And the second volume in here is Yotsuba Volume 3. I've read Volume 1 of Yotsuba and I loved it. It was so sweet and lovely and I really want to try and get the volumes I'm missing so I can read it. Fortunately one of those volumes I'm missing is volume two. I think I think I'm missing like two, nine, eleven, I think, and then I'll be up to date. This is such a lovely series. I understand why people rave about it as much as they do. Okay, let's let's do another Blackwells. Right. We have Frozen Blood Volume 2. And I know I've said previously that I, I thought this series was a bit shit, but Black Wells had it for $4.99, and that's cheaper than 3 for 2. And also, I felt like I needed to give it a bit more of a chance. I I had some people get upset with me, like, how I talked about it, but I just, there was nothing, like, it just, nothing, it just, ah. Uh, the, the, the writing I felt was bad, the plot just was the same as an anime I'd already seen. I want it, I want it to get better. There is, I think, like six or seven volumes and it's complete already. So I don't even have that long to wait to see if the whole series is good or not. We do have quite a bit more world of books, so let's do another one. We'll do this big one. Oh, stand them up straight. I wonder if there's more light novels in here. There is. Sword Art Online Volume 12. I was convinced like, I'd ordered Volume 12 because I was like, it's got a solid row now, but did he have 12? I did order 12. I did. It's going to go out of frame soon. <laughs> and then we have another Is It Wrong to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon? Also Volume 12. Wow, what are the odds? That's... I'm getting nervous now. <laughs> And another light novel. No game, no life. Not volume twelve though. Volume seven. I love the covers of No Game, No Life light novels. They're gorgeous. I think they're so vibrant. We're gonna forget about like what happens in No Game, No Life, of course. But the covers are gorgeous. I think I'm gonna start a new pile. Actually, you can, you can go there. I'm I'm scared. Okay, what else have we got in here? We have. Yes, I forgot. I ordered this Berserk of Gluttony Volume Two. I didn't realise the other colours covers were not all purple. This is like it's not an isekai. It's just a regular fantasy, I think. But it has the same sort of tropes as Re Monster or that time I reincarnated as a slime, where he can like take on the abilities and skills of other people, and I love that sort of thing because I like it's like they've progressed sort of deal. I really enjoy that. So I read Volume One and I was like. I need 
and then I found a whole bunch of these on World of Books. Hopefully there's going to be some more in here. Yes! Oh, there's also volume three and that's yellow. Oh wow, We've got a rainbow going on here. We'll do the single World of Books. A lone World of Books. How sad. Okay, what's in here? It is That Wolf Boy is Mine Volume 4. So that is the series complete and I'm going to read that in the next probably couple of weeks and I'll see what I think. I'll be able to see of the three series which I prefer the most. I'm worried it's going to be those not so sweet boys because I was like oh I'll buy these series because I've enjoyed this one and then not enjoy them. We're going to do this last Black Wells volume then we can say bye bye to the Black Wells parcels. Oh, come on. We have <laughs> the most heretical last boss queen from Villainess to Saviour. Uh, Villainess Isekai. What can I say? I'm so happy. This is another one. I'm fairly sure I pre-ordered this like April last year. I pre-ordered it a long time ago and it was originally meant to come out in March and well it came in April I think but it is now May. Okay we're gonna do this ominous plain white one next. Okay I think this is the same series so we're gonna put them out together. It is! It is volumes 7 and 8 of Parasite. Um, I have been vaguely interested in this series and it's only ever so slightly because the spines are colourful, okay? I think I have I have half the series now, I've bought them all second hand. Uh, these look so, <laughs> they look so new, but I paid half pro- actually I don't know what these retail for, but I paid about £6 for both of these, not together, £6 each for both of these. I thought for some reason that this was a nine volume series. I think it's only eight volumes. I don't know where I got nine from. So yeah, I've got about half of them now. I just need to find the rest. But hopefully it's good a price. <laughs> Let's do the non world of books. Oh, it is a world of books. It's just cardboard. <laughs> oh, that... Goodness, I don't... Have I ever had a single world of books? I must have had a single world of books cardboard. Is it? Is it? Oh, boom. And Berserk of Gluttony Volume 5 is another wonderfully bright colour. I don't have Volume 4. Maybe that's green. Ooh, I'll have to look in next time I go manga shopping. Oh, which one do we go for? You know, it's interesting because World of Books has rebranded to just warp. <laughs> so this is like new packaging, this is old packaging. So let's go for the old packaging. Oh, we got a couple in here. So on top we have Grand Blue Fantasy Volume 4. Uh, I think, oh, yes. And Grand Blue Fantasy Volume 6. Uh, so this is based on a video game. It's not a video game I've played, but I'm interested and because I think, is it like a JRPG? I assume it must be with a name like this, an inspiration from Final Fantasy and it says something about Dragon Quest. Yeah, I haven't started reading it. When I learned it was only a seven volume series I was like I'll hold off and read all seven back to back. So I have one, two, four, six, so we need three, five and seven. Last parcel! It's so sad isn't it? I almost don't want it to end. I'll just keep opening manga forever. On top we have got Saga of Tanya the Evil Volume 2 which is a wonderful volume to get because it means I can actually continue reading the series because um, I had a gap. I have like three to nine but not two. <laughs> not two. I've read volume one. I picked up the series because I started to watch East Kai Quartet. Actually an anime. 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 Yes I watched my animes. I really 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 like SD anime. So like Rock Clean is Ninja Pals or there was an assassin's assassination classroom assassination classroom one where it was like D, D. they were great and east kai quartet is the same sort of thing and i'd read um all the other series but saga of tiny evil so i started picking it up for that reason i've picked up so many of the volumes secondhand i have like 
ripped. I'm missing. Oh my gosh, that's actually really badly ripped. Oh, that's a proper rip down the spine. Probably can't see too. Actually, you can. You can. Like that. Oh, and it feels so weird because the volume's met. I forgot what I was going to say. Oh well. Yay. <laughs> okay, we've got another bump. And then we have. The Hidden Dungeon Only I Can Enter Volume 3. This was a bit of a weird series. It's not East Kai, it's fantasy, and it was fine. So finding a volume for secondhand prices, I was like, I can go for that. Last volume in the hole. It better be a good one. Oh, we're starting over. It is a good one. I forgot I'd order this and I'm so happy. It is the splendid work of a monster maid, volume two. So I bought volume one in my shopping haul video shebang and I loved it. It was, I thought it was so pretty. It made me giggle. It was silly, but also slightly serious. But yeah, the art style, I think it's so pretty. My only upsetting issue with it was my forbidden planet had it retailed at 13.99 which is expensive and i found this for about eight pounds second hand which unfortunately is cheaper than three for two even eight pounds i pretty much finished reading volume finished reading volume one and then went to go and hunt for a discounted volume two and i found it well thank you so much for joining me i hope you enjoyed that do let me know in the comments what you thought of what I picked up and the quality of what I picked up. I don't think I commented too much about the second handness unless it was like bad. Most of the time like, I just completely forgot I was unboxing, um, wrapping second hand manga because a lot of it's actually pretty decent. Like even if you look down the sp spines here, you can see there's only one volume that has a black dot and often like most of my secondhand manga has black dots, but that one only one does. And I think there's that Dreaming Sun. It is Dreaming Sun. I'm so worried this is gonna kill me. Sure, I hope my partner likes all his light novels. Uh, he's not gonna find out what I've got on him until he watches the video. <laughs> I'm gonna go and hide these after I <laughs> stop recording this. I genuinely don't know where to start reading at all. I don't. I'll have to go through maybe an Isekai. There is that Villainess Isekai. I do love Villainess Isekai, but maybe I'll just do some chill. Romance. Oh, but maybe Skip and Loafer. Oh no. There's too many options. Maybe Titty Prey. If you enjoyed that, why not give this video a like? And why not subscribe to my channel? I do lots of unboxings. I will be doing another unboxing. I will start accumulating parcels again for next month. And also I'll be posting further hauls of other stuff I picked up, mainly when I go manga shopping. Otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye!